back. Today is Monday, August 11th. This is episode 105 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where I've been playing a lot of Braid, and guess what? I can now control time and run it backwards on Tobin. What? Oh, well, it turns out I've been fucking your mom, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I've right. been, still been fucking your mom. <laughs> God. Ah, cut that out. God damn it. All right, fine. I give up. All right. I've totally been fucking your mom. <laughs> oh, you win. Stupid master of time. Mm. I'm Tobin Gozire. I'm Yuzo Watanabe. This week we are talking about Braid, Facebreaker, <laughs> World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King, and Dizzy B on the iPhone. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, new releases include Space Siege, the Fable Pub Games, Bionic Commando Rearmed, uh, oh, and the oh. game we're the most excited oh, about, yeah. Madden NFL 09, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, man. I'm going to finally slam that shuttlecock. Oh, dude. I'm totally going to get the ball through all the wickets. <laughs> dude, I'm going to catch the golden snitch. Oh, golden snitch. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. As always, we have site news, culture, and community sections, but let's get started with the Wrath of the Lich King. Wrath of the Lich King. Oh, but where's our where's our drink? Uh, Not a well, cups. So there's pimp cups. And, and you know, they're 40 ounces. They are 40 ounces. And uh, we've had a popular, we've had a request yep. from a number of people saying, why don't you drink 40s? Uh-huh. What? S- all right. So I guess we should. So this isn't unfortunately a 40, <laughs> but it's better beer than normal. <laughs> it's, right. uh, it's, it's pretty good, right? Yeah, Newcastle. it's the Newcastle. Yeah. Um, it's a good size. So you know, I, I, like I do notice that you're drinking an Asian-sized beer. Uh, what? what? Uh, an Asian 40, as they're <laughs> called. So I brought a white dude-sized <laughs> beer. <laughs> oh, nice. The Miller High Life. Miller High Life, um, sir. With a... Uh, is, that, is, that, is that the champagne of beers? <laughs> is it? Shit. I don't remember if this is... is <laughs> I know that I know that uh, Coors is a banquet beer. Banquet this might beer? be the champagne. I believe of beer. it actually will say on the thing. It's not, when it's not like, Budweiser, it's the, the king of beers. No. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness! Oh, high life! Oh, life! So this will take a while. This but will take a while. <laughs> so why don't you start talking about Wrath of the so, Lich King? Uh, Wrath of the Lich King. So I played this. Uh, Tobin didn't get a chance to do that, but um, I, you know the thing is, I want to do a couple of disclaimers. I want to say first of all, we are not huge WoW heads. I played it for a couple of years. You yeah. played it for about. I played it for a couple months. A couple of months. Um, you got to like level 30-ish, somewhere around there, by the way. Cheers. Oh, cheers, sir. Oh, my, oh my God. This is so heavy. Oh, mm. oh, oh God. You I feel like I'm living the high life. I t- <laughs> really? <laughs> I feel so, you know, kind of like uh, life working just, class. Yeah. Life British. Just, yeah. I want to say um, many British slang words all of a sudden yes. for some reason. Um <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Oi! Oi! So this is uh, this is Wrath of the Lich King. So um, you know, like the thing is, we're not huge, huge WoW heads. I played it. I didn't really even play that long. I just want to check out the Death Knight class. So, yes. Um, they're pretty cool. Yeah. It's Did the they first... have the the features that we talked about? Did they have like um, the Camaro? No. I didn't play Camaro that Camaro Epic Mount. No, the, I didn't see that. I yeah. didn't see the mullet attack. <sighs> Uh, but maybe it's unlockable later. I'm not sure. Yeah, it could be. It uh, could but be. you know, I want to try the Death Knight class. It's uh, it's what they call the first hero class. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you have to get uh, one of your characters up to level somewhere. You said 50 before. I think it's either 50, 55, somewhere pretty high. But you don't have to be 70. Okay. So you got to get it pretty high. Um, I think it might even be 60, somewhere around there. Somebody will correct me, obviously. I'm sure. But then it unlocks a slot. Somebody be, right now right, is it's correcting like, you on you. Use you no shit. It's level 62 and a half. Yes. Thanks, um, so thanks YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you roll, um, but yeah. So well, you know, you do that. You get a one slot. You can only have one Death Knight per um, server. Oh, per um, per, get, count. Like, per count. Yeah. basically. Um, so you can go to. You can make another one on another one if you have a level sixty five. Okay. So on and so forth. Wonder why they wouldn't let you have two. I guess they knight. don't want. Well, you can if you have a, another high level character on another server. Oh, okay. But I see. it's not like it's you still want like overloaded with Death Knights. Exactly. I guess. Yeah. But you know the thing is, the moment they release this thing, there's going to be fifty billion yeah. Death Knights in the newbie zone. Yeah, everybody um, will just be playing Death Knights. So um, you know the the which call you know they, they do have the standard stuff. You kind of start out. You like have to make your own sword. You have yeah. this rune sword. They have all these kind of runes. You kind of embed onto it, all this kind of stuff. And then they have this quest progression, which actually is kind of cool. You're going and you're like turning all these dwarves into ghouls oh. and bringing them back. You're doing all this like really like dark death, shit, dark shit, yeah. right? Um, which I liked a lot, but the thing is I felt like a noob. You know, even you though you're, even though your character was like mad powerful. Exactly. He's like level 55 or 50 somewhere around yeah. there. You start out and like you're going and you're killing these guys, right? You're hitting them for like 500. Yeah. But it feels like I'm killing rats. Instead so I was going to say, you're killing death rats. <laughs> yeah. Like, like Wrath of the Rat Lich King. Yes. Aww. It's a whole bunch of really high level rats that you're, you're killing. And it's just like, you know. There's no way around it, right? Like, there that you just, you can't make 
noob shit without it being noob shit. Like, I don't care if you hit for a million points, they're still going to give that rat 50 million hit points. Exactly. You know, it's just... And it's just like there wasn't any that much strategy. You only start with a few skills because you get them as you level your um, sure. your thing. So you start out with about four or five, where originally you start with one or two, right? Okay. We start out. Um, so you know it's kind of cool. I'm going around, but the thing is, it's a little buggy. It's still in beta. Mm. So um, I went through. I played about three or four hours. I got um, I got pretty far. There was this uh, bugged quest. Oh. And it was in the line, right? So I couldn't do anything else. Oh, like like you couldn't get beyond no. it. Like the oh shit. So they have like a they have a thing where you can like pull up a GM. You can be like, hey, bug, yeah. whatever. So well, I know. did that, and I waited about a minute, and I'm like. <laughs> All right, I'm, st- <laughs> I'm, I'm out. St- I'm stuck in this cannon, sitting here. I can't yeah. get out of the cannon. I can't shoot the cannon. Which oh. we're supposed to do. So then I logged out, and I yeah. logged back in. I tried it again. It was still bugged. So Lame. I'm like, ah. So, but the thing is, but this is this is pre-release, though, right? Is yeah. it? It's not like official no, yet. No, no, okay. no, no. And they actually do a really good job. So the, the way they do the beta is that every single time you do a quest, like a little question mark button pops up. You hit that button, and brings up this dialogue screen. It says, "What do you think of the quest? Oh. Was it this difficult? Was the reward appropriate? That is did fucking cool. Bugs? That is yeah. exactly the way you should do shit. As oh, opposed, because yeah. I mean, like I've been, I've done beta testing before where they'll have separate websites. Where like, oh yeah, could you please fill out this survey about your playing experience? But you got to build it right in. Where yeah. you're just like, you know, like you just did a quest what do you think you're like well i fucking hated it that's what i think or it was too easy or it's too whatever the thing is like i think this is why blizzard does such a good job with all of their all the properties they like listen to everybody and it's just like look i i I don't usually give that much feedback but it's like since that button was there it's like all right i'll click a couple of buttons sure i'll you know you'll do you'll do your like your beta testing job yeah exactly so um the thing is like beta fucking or uh, blizzard fucking owns the world they're just like that they're practice i mean what is it like world of warcraft is like 10 million subscribers now i think more i think more than can you imagine fucking hell for 15 bucks a month can you imagine running those data centers uh yeah probably I mean, the thing is, right, we work on pretty heavy duty data. I'm just saying, too, that's so. like, that's like, I just can't even I, fucking I imagine. I wonder. Oh, anyhow, but yeah, yeah, so like, it's it's a big task. Like, we know, we yeah. know how hard it is to run these data centers. Yes, we do. And basically, you got to have like a team of people watching, people yeah. like Range, yeah. to like watch this <laughs> shit, <laughs> looking for the red bars. Like, like, Range, the quest is bugged. He's like, shut up, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking more beer. So what other? What, I know, um, did they add a, a level? Uh, I heard that they were like bumping the level yeah. again. So bumping the level up so to like eighty um, or something. Like eighty or something. I don't, yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> something higher um, than seventy. The, higher, yeah, ten uh, levels higher than what the current yeah, level. I so believe seventy it's 60 now. Is, I think it's sixty to seventy. I think the last expansion was seventy. So now it's eighty. Uh, whatever. Probably. Yeah, Doesn't something. Matter. You know. I mean, the thing is, it's like it's, it's another ten levels for you to grind and go crazy. But you're you're now in a in a wintry area, so it's yeah. called Northrend. But it, all the zones are different. Yeah. So there's like jungle zones, there's this zone and all that, and you're basically going to after I think. The the Lich King, what's his name? Uh, Atheron. Did you play Warcraft Three? Remember, remember that I guy? did, but I, we we talked about this. I didn't like. Yeah, it I didn't much, like it either. So, so, it was um, not... so story, we don't care. The yeah. thing is, you get all sorts of cool new abilities. You get more levels, and it's more for... achievements. Yes, fucking achievements yeah, in yeah, yeah. World of Warcraft. What a cool idea! I know. And the thing is, like, I, I was trying to get them, and some of them are hard. That's good. Like, once you have to go through every continent. One, yeah. you have to hug a bunch of people, and I couldn't find anybody to hug. Hugging achievements. Yeah. <laughs> It's like it's like make a friend loser. <laughs> Go get at least one person to hug you that's not your mom. Hey man, that's that, that's commendable considering the, the the main demographic of Blizzard. It's uh, true. Good job. It's true. So I mean, I love I love that they were doing that, and and I love that they put in hard ones because they know mm-hmm. that these aren't casual gamers. These aren't no. people that want to pick it up and get an achievement in ten minutes. These Never. are people like I went to every fucking continent and yep. I hunted down the purple rabbit. That, you know, like they um, just yeah. they just fucking. I've got go. this whole epic set of you know tier sure. five thing. Or whatever. And people get their groups together yeah. and they have a really good time with this kind of. It's just like they they need to keep adding the complexity to yes. it. Absolutely. And you know the best thing about it? They're actually going to get this achievement system yeah. and then go all the way across all of Blizzard's games. So StarCraft 2 is going to have achievements. Very Diablo 3 cool. is going to have achievements. Ooh. They're all going to work together and then your Blizzard account uh, is going to have, have like, like... a global Blizzard account. Ah, oh, that is fucking sweet. Yes. I'm going to have all these Diablo 3 achievements like a mad fiend. You think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I want to see because like, that's going to be the... I think that's going to be a test because we're not that big of StarCraft fans. No. Uh, Diablo is is definitely like amazing. So yeah. um, we're really excited about that. There are a bunch of other stuff I don't really want to touch on because the things I'm going to get totally wrong but yeah. um it's it's a it looks like it's going to be you know as quality as burning crusade you yeah, know what i mean it's going to be more stuff people love burning things. crusade um they they took the pets and now you don't have to actually have an inventory slot anymore you can actually have this little pet bar oh uh, that's cool so it doesn't you know there's all that kind of like you know so they're just kind of like fine-tuning the interface yes, as usual just absolutely. making things a little better and, and and that blizzard polish yeah, the yeah. Blizzard like nobody polish. else like nobody else nobody else i um, love that they fucking give you so much control of your interface 
Like mm-hmm. that is such a cool thing where they're like you can move stuff around, you, you can add the little scripty did things. Did you ever do it in, in EverQuest back in the day when they Yeah, when they yeah, a little it? bit. But it was shitty, man. Yeah, you had do to like go it? yeah, you had to like go edit other files and Oh it was god. But here it's pretty. like a full XML, you can do all sorts of and like the thing is, I play now with the default and I used to like, you know, download all the best mods and all that mm. to do all this stuff and it's like wow, it's almost unusable. Yeah. Compared to because the thing is there's mods so that you can basically hit a button, you can bring up a map and show you where you are on the map, so you don't even need to like get Wow. It might be cheating. They'd probably pull up like where the quests are, <laughs> exactly. like all that shit. Here's this, here's the cheapest vendor for ah. this stuff. And it's just like <laughs> But that's the thing, it's like all these crutches you start relying on when you yeah. play hardcore and just like I, I don't even remember, I don't even know what to do. Well there's like, that big thing in the news recently where Blizzard it went the fuck after those guys that were doing the botting. Yeah. Um, and and they're also like banning the shit out of all the people that used it, which well, they is they should. I mean, because yeah. I mean you're gold farming and all that stuff is yeah. just like, <clears throat> but um no, but anyhow, I mean like you know World of Warcraft, Legends, Wrath of the Lich King, it's gonna be as awesome as the other stuff. If you're cool. a big World of Warcraft fan, go you're, grab it. Yeah, you're you're obviously gonna get it. Yeah. So, um, um, so next up is Dizzy B. So why did you decide to get this? So I've been thinking I wanted to kind of well for okay for one thing <laughs> there ain't there ain't shit to play. You're right. There is not well, there's, fuck all. There's been one good game a week. Braid yeah. this week, yeah. and then uh, Jump Wars last week. That's true. That's true. So they've been they've been kind of. But those are like small bite yeah. sized. And I, I you know like I, I wanted to play something where I was out and about. There's been nothing good on the DS. No, on the PSP. Not for a while. Um, so I was just like, hey, I'm gonna hop on and try an iPhone game. So you had to pay for this, right? You didn't get one of the free ones. Um, I, I tried some of the free ones. You know, like they have like Labyrinth where you've got like a BB in a, in a yeah. wooden maze. I tried I mean, the Sudoku and it was really shitty. Yeah, they're not. The free games honestly aren't that good on the iPhone. They're worth what you pay for them, basically. Yes. Um, uh, but they've been. But some of these uh, pay games have been getting some good reviews. So I'm a cheap bastard. So like, okay. You didn't get everyone, the $10 fucking Super Monkey Ball no. game, so there's, there's, like, there's like three games that everyone is saying the shit. Yeah. They're saying Super Monkey Ball is the shit. Yep. $10. Uh, the one with the water drops. Uh, I forget uh, what that's yeah, called, but there's like one. a bunch of really clever physics puzzles, mm-hmm. which is probably going to be my next purchase. Okay, because um, it's not ten dollars. It is ten dollars. Oh, you're going to get that over Super Monkey Ball? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we got to trade off. Oh, you got to buy oh, something. Oh shit! Um, and then there's maybe another one. But yeah, so maybe then this one. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Donate so we can play Please. iPhone games. Um, and then there's Dizzy B, which yeah. is basically um, Loco Roco Light. Loco Roco plus guess. Labyrinth plus Super Monkey Ball. It's just kind of like yeah. Um, but so what's the, how does the game work? Well, I mean, so here's the thing. The reason why I bought it is yeah. it's only three bucks, but it was getting like solid four and a half star reviews. Like everyone's just like, "This is the shit." Everyone's got yeah. on this game. Best game on the fucking App Store. Sure. So I, I got it, and it's just like there's a a maze. Yep. And then you've got a little bee of guy. One screen. One screen. Yeah. Um, and then you got a little bee guy, and you're trying to pick up flowers and pick up other little bees that stick to you. Uh, fruits. Little fruits, yeah. sorry. And then you just get to the end point. Yes. And, and there's, there's like uh, bonus enemies. enemies that kind of. There's some enemies that are gravity based. So the whole thing is yeah. you're tilting shit. You're like, boop, boop, boop. You're like tilting around. And some of the enemies just bounce around from gravity. Some can actually mm-hmm. like defy gravity and come yeah. after you. And. <sighs> You know, it's, <laughs> Come on, I, I let I let you play it on my phone yeah. too. Yeah, so I, I played it a bit, and it's just like you know, you can see a lot of the elements of Loco Roco, and even the some of the fruits are are fucking. They look exactly like the Loco Roco mm-hmm. um, things, right? Mm-hmm. The oranges or whatever they are. Yeah, and like you can kind of tell they kind of grab that because you're grabbing these guys and then taking them to the exit, which is kind of like right. one of the main things, right? It's just like it's so. There's not much there. That's There's, the thing. You know what I that's, mean? So that was my big problem with it. It was just very one-dimensional. Like, as soon as you get the concept, every level, it's not like what we always talk about where yeah. it's like, okay, what's the next thing? What's the next mm-hmm. thing? What's the next Absolutely. thing? Where they're like, okay, now you've got a fucking laser beam. Now you can touch the screen and yeah. do some shit. Now it's you not can... like this game that we're talking about later, actually. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah, There's yeah. some games coming up that are fucking hot, but I was playing and I was like, eh. Yeah. Like, but, but the thing is, I'm thinking about it like, it says eh, but it's like, you only pay three bucks for it. I know. If it was free, you'd be like, this is the best fucking free game ever it, made, right? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, but I mean, like, but the thing is, what I was doing when I was playing it is, is what I wanted is a game that if I, I'm waiting in line at Safeway yeah. for five minutes, I pull it out, I'm like, beep, boop, 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 and then put it away. Mm-hmm. And this game, like, I played it, I'm like, I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> That's it. You're done. I, I just... But you can, so like, get like a waste of three silver. bucks. I mean, there, there is that element where you're actually going and trying to do better overall, right? You're, yeah. you're grabbing all of the things. You're trying to combo. It's true. But you compare it to, like, Soul Bubbles, which we played recently, where yeah. the Levels That's are true. like five or ten minutes. You could play really quick. Soul Bob is like 20, 23 bucks. It's though, true. Right? Yeah. So, so you're like, oh, it's ten times better. I guess that's true. But I mean, I mean, for me, it's just like, look, if this was five bucks, I would say no, it's not worth five bucks. Mm. If this was free, I'd say this is an amazing free game. You go get it today. Yeah. But three bucks, it's in that little gray area, right? Where I'm like, uh, it's not that bad. It's not that for bad. Three bucks. It's true. I mean, like, I know that it took them a lot of work to do it. 
Yeah. Um, but my biggest, my I guess my biggest complaint at the end of the day was after I played this for a while, I'm like, I just wasted three dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I yeah. didn't, I didn't like. There was no innovative <laughs> gameplay. There was nothing that I would want to go back to. That's like two Miller High Life right there. You're right. Seriously, that's like, oh my god, I could be, I could be drinking like eighty ounces of beer <laughs> and have a hell of a lot more fun. Out Seriously, there. yeah, that is like liquid fun right there. <laughs> that uh, that's 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 my evening. That's right. <laughs> I'd play like, that for longer than this. Would be. <laughs> This is being played for five minutes. I could be drunk for hours. That's hilarious. You think that's that's what we need is in on YouTube, like a value meter yeah. for games. It's like how many forties of high life can that's I get true. for this game? Yeah, I'd be like, wow. Well, because you, you can know, have a lot of fun with that. Exactly. You're like, well, this game was really cool. Um, I, I think that it maybe was worth the fourteen high lives <laughs> that it cost. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this that's game right. on a high life scale yeah. was, you uh. know. Uh, so yeah, well, we'll have to incorporate that in our reviewing process. So, but yeah. overall, you say you waste. So three I bucks. say I say thumbs down. I didn't I, like it. For me, if I bought it for three dollars, I would be like, I wouldn't be that pissed off. So okay. I'm like, I'm like, you know, you gotta you, pick, you gotta pick, you gotta go. I'm gonna say thumbs up. All right, all right. Like even even though I didn't, buy, maybe because I didn't. Buy it. <laughs> You're like, wow, I borrowed it from you and it cost me nothing. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Why don't you go buy it then? No, <laughs> but you thumbs up it. You should go buy it for your phone, right? No, because <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't play it. Actually, no, that's a really good point. I'm going to have to give it a yeah, Because you're right. Yeah, basically, if I liked it that much, I would actually you go and buy it. You should have to buy it, it. Yeah. And I, I'll be looking instead. I'm like, what else can I get for $3? Because I already know this game. Yeah, exactly. So I, I'm thinking maybe yeah. uh, maybe for next week, um, I might I might try the uh, the bouncing uh, physics game on the iPhone. Okay, well, if you do that, maybe I'll do the Super Monkey Ball. Because yeah. that, that's the, the hottest game that's, right that's now. Everyone's saying like that's it. the hot. But yeah. you know the thing is, like, I, I have a feeling that it's going to be hard to trust people with iPhones. Because if you think about it, they're not really gamers. They're used to the mobile experience. And yeah. They're going to be basically saying, like, this is more fun than Snake. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's true. You're like, this is fantastic because the iPhone is so much better than my Windows mobile phone. You know, they're just like, oh, it's great. <laughs> Exactly. So, I mean, if you look at that and you compare it to that, it's like, of course, we're used to fucking Soul Bubbles. We're used to yeah. Professor Layton. We're used to all these amazing mobile games. The bar's games. high. Really high for us. But so. if they want to make the iPhone the new gaming platform, they got to mm. they got to hit our bar. Well, they got to do it. So, that's true. Uh, and if you guys are big into iPhone gaming, yeah. let us know on the YouTube comments let us know and if stuff. This works. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, if, if none of you guys have iPhones and you don't give a shit, we'll stop reviewing them. That's cool. Exactly. Just yeah. let us know. Yeah. So, um, cool. Let's go to the next one. Oh, oh yes. The next Let's. two. The yes. next two. Because uh, I want to kind of roll them together. Yeah. There have been two demos of boxing games on the 360 that yeah. just came out. We have Face Breaker. Yeah. And Don King presents Price Colon. Prize Fighter. Okay. Um, Face Breaker, you played that one. Yeah, my problem with it was that the demo took like six hours to finish. Really? Yeah, it was just like so long, you know. Yeah, like, they you just, know. it just seemed like it just seemed like it never ended. That was such an opposite experience <laughs> for me because I would play ninety seconds later, it's done. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I could not believe wow. you play, and it was just like you're playing, and you just like throw a punch, and it's like, hey, thanks for playing. <laughs> yeah, by the way, yeah, buy our game. Dude, Hope you enjoyed it? the ten seconds of fucking gameplay we gave you. Yeah, what does that tell you? Like, what it tells me is just like, look, here's the game. Mm -hmm. If we show people too much. That's all they'll never the buy show. it. They'll yeah. never buy it. As opposed to shit like Ugh. Too Human, where I'm getting these private messages from people. They're like, yeah. "I found this secret way to unlock more of the users, and I've gone through and I've played through the demo 18 times, and I've tried every character type." Like shit. I'm like, yeah. like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Like, but I mean, that's you know, like I know you didn't like it, but that's a sign I would of say a game it was too long. Personally. Yes, <laughs> right? you did. It gave me too much time to play. But like, that's one of those things where the Too Human demo yeah. was super long because they have faith in their game, mm. and this game, they're just like they're uh. like they're like here's a ton of it's but a taste. I, it's a real taste. taste. You're like, you're like I, was that good? I, I, I don't know. I can't. What's the aftertaste? I can't. Is that, oh, <laughs> well, the uh. thing, I kept on playing. So I played like five 90 second rounds. And yeah. the thing is, just like, it was kind of fun. I was getting into it. But it, what worries me is that if, the, if 90 seconds is fun, does, does that mean three minutes is not fun? Yeah, I don't know. You know? Like, is there depth? I don't think there's depth. I don't think there's all this stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's so arcadey. Yeah. Me. See, I hated it. <laughs> Really, yeah, I hated it. Like, if I'm gonna play a fighting game like that, yeah. I want there to be like fucking weapons and combos. And, yeah, just like I want it to be like Soul Calibur. More, yeah, like Soul Calibur, <laughs> yeah. which we need to still play. Yeah, Sorry, so guys. Yeah, we'll get to it. But I just, just yeah. I just didn't like it. It was like up, down, back block. Well, there was breaker. like so I was playing it a little bit more, and there's like parries, there's dodges, yeah. there's a little bit of depth to it, and it kind of the thing is it was really cartoony. So mm -hmm. I like that. You know, we like sports games which take out the sport from it. It just makes it a game. So. It's a fighting game and it felt really good, but it's just like 90 seconds long. It's just like, you know, I'm not going to get it. I'm not even going to rent it now. That's, that's what I was going like, to ask you. It's like, I know you're not going to buy it, but I mean, like, it just. I don't even want to rent it. Yeah. You know, it's just like, there's other fighting games because they're trying to make a fighting game out of boxing. Yes. 
Yeah, that, that is, that's exactly right. It wasn't like one of these kind of technical... No. Like some of the boxing games, they really try and... Uh, what was the one? Uh, Final Fight? Fight, uh, fight, fight, uh, fight Night. Fight Night. Round fight Night. Three, yeah. That was they really, decent. Like, right? for, I don't like... I didn't, I didn't like, like it that much because it's a boxing game, but like they put a lot of thought into the technicalities of it, and yeah. I like having it from the boxer's perspective yeah. as well. But for me, it's just like, you know, I don't even care about any of these things because like, we'll talk about very shortly about Price Fighter. Yeah. But you know what game I fucking want? What's that? Punch Out! Yes. Give me Punch Out! Give me Punch Out. Like, for real. Somebody, Nintendo, anybody. Just and, give me a game like Punch and Out. And you could basically keep the mechanics. Like, you don't have to yeah. go through and be like, we've reimagined Punch Out. It's like, <laughs> make it really pretty. Yeah. And give us fucking Punch Out. And I swear to God, we would buy it. Easily. We would totally pay, like, you know, what, 800 points or whatever you want to do. 15 bucks is probably Maybe my limit, right? You go to 1,200. Yeah. All well, right. I mean, it's on Nintendo, so it's going to be, twi- it's gonna be right, 1,500 Oh, you want a Nintendo. Well, yeah. If it's Punch-Out, it's going to yeah, be, Yeah, that's right? true. Mm, so. How would they do that? I guess you'd use the Well, number one, control. don't do this. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do that. We played Wii Boxing. Uh, we know. Oh, my God. Wii Boxing maybe sucks with the, so hard. M- maybe with that, the Wii Plus, Wii Motion maybe. Plus. Maybe. Maybe it would be more... Maybe. I, I don't think so. Because I think Red Steel, I think I actually might like that if the Sword plays Sword's a different, better, though, right? Because Sword, like, you'd still, like, have technicality to it, but I mean, the boxing, when you're just kind of... But if you, I mean, if, if the thing is, right, if I see a fist on the screen and I go like this, yeah. and I actually see it do that, and I go like that, as opposed cool. to just, this is Wii Boxing. Yeah, uh, Wii Boxing. Oh, it's, right? so, it's so it's lame. <laughs> and, like, my brother and I tried to do technical stuff. We no. kind of, like, doing this. And then, seriously, I shit you not, my mom was just like, how do you do this? And it was like, KO! She just killed you. <laughs> it's like, God, <laughs> fuck! Well, that's my the, mom just the, whooped my monkey ass. That's the target audience. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, so, my mom. <laughs> your mom. Mm. Um, so Don King presents Fight, Fight, Cry, uh, Prize Fighter. Just really quickly, it's just like, I played this for about two seconds. Wow. Because it was... You know so what it they makes did? Facebreaker look good, is what you're saying. It made Facebreaker look... Ri- that's why I'm saying Facebreaker wasn't that bad, because I played another yeah. boxing game. It was just like, I was playing it. So here's the thing, right? This is what killed it for me. Yeah. You move with this joystick. Uh-huh. You um, punch with the four buttons. You have jab. Sure. And not only that, like the button combination is like jab... Um, Straight, yeah. right hook, left hook. You hold down two buttons for one uppercut, the two buttons for the oh. other uppercut. And I'm like, okay, this is a little confusing. Yeah. I'm fighting and I'm doing all this stuff. And then you block. Guess what you do to block? What's that? Dude, wild guess. Both triggers? No. C- click click the... No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you use the right stick. That's your block? So you're blocking you're like kinda... up and down and then Wal- you have to go to... The so punch button. Oh, so you're moving your thumbs yes. around. Fuck that. Wrong. Wow. Wrong. Yeah. Control So fail. what are the triggers for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no. The triggers are for your signature move was one of them. Nice. And I forget. Some, some of the other yeah. ones I forget. But yeah. It's just a control nightmare. Yeah, that's Like whoever made this is not a gamer. They're like, right? Because yeah. right. I'm blocking and then I'm going back and I'm punching and I'm punching. Punch. Basically, no. I just keep punching because like, fuck blocking, right? Yeah. I'm just going to play offense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And basically, at, by the end of the match, I had I was knocked out and he had the computer had about this much left. Ugh. God so it's just it. like, ugh. Yeah, anybody that does that kind of like game. switching, like moving around all the time, you know that they haven't really played it enough. Exactly. So fuck I was that. expecting like something where you like kind of like do this like gesture movement or something. Yeah, It'd yeah, be a little yeah. cooler, yeah. right? But, um, yes. Now we are to the meat. Yes, the meat. Um, so fucking Braid. Braid! Wow. So Jonathan Blow, yeah. uh, is, I think, is one of the main, or is the developer of yeah, this Yeah, it's thing. like one dude. Man, can you believe it? Apparently he spent three years on this game. And I believe it. I um, totally believe it. So, I mean, like, t- before we even get into the review, which from our reaction you can already tell is going to be good, <laughs> yeah. there's been a lot of a lot of blowback. People have been saying, like, it costs too much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> People have been saying it costs too much, and, and I disagree completely. So it's $15, it's, 1,200 it's points. 1,200 points. And I shit you not, like, I was playing through this game, and I was yeah. enjoying it so much that if I could have, like, donated another mm-hmm. 100 points to this guy... Just buy another copy. <laughs> right? I should. I mean, seriously, like, I, I respect so much what this guy did. Like, yeah. it was game mechanics like I've never seen. Yeah, and he did a really good job. He did... Well, we'll talk about the game in a little bit, but he actually... The interviews that he was having with micro, uh, with uh, various people was saying, like, he actually wanted it to be cheaper, but Microsoft, for some reason decided to make it more expensive. Oh, really? Because well, he wanted to sell more copies, right? Because yeah, he's trying yeah. to hit that break-even point where number of copies and, sure. and all this stuff, right? But um, I didn't hear about that. So he wanted it to be less. And yeah, then... he wanted it to be a little less. Or well, he was a little disappointed in the, the price, basically. Yeah. And he went out and said that publicly? <laughs> hey. Microsoft's going to cock-slap yeah. you. <laughs> Not if they're selling a lot of copies. That's and hof- true. Hopefully they are. But, um, but he apparently um, he had a vision. When he was designing this game, he was basically, yeah. you know, like all, like Microsoft, all these people were saying, no, you know, you need to put more hints. You yeah. need to do this. You need to put more, continue, you know, all just random stuff. And yeah. it's just like, no, you, you I need the reason, the here are the reasons why I'm doing this. Because yeah. basically the feeling you get from solving this puzzle will be so good that I'm not going to give you any hints whatsoever. And that's exactly right. That is absolutely right. I mean, like I, like 
you and I have talked about this offline, yeah. but it's one of those games where you get so mad. Like, well, okay, what's the game? <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go to the game real quick. So the um, game. The, it's, a, it's a puzzle platformer. Yeah. Uh, you're going through various worlds, and you're gathering puzzle pieces. Yeah. Each world has 12 pieces, I think. Yeah. 60 pieces total, five pieces per world. That's right, 12. Or 12, 12 sorry, five worlds. That's right. So six, uh, yeah, so there's that. And then basically you use the puzzle pieces, just like in Professor Layton, to make a picture, right. which tells a story. Yep. So, but so what's then the trick? The, the hook is time control. Yeah, in so, many different ways. In many different ways. Like, you start off and you're just like, okay, cool, I can do something, I fuck up, I hit rewind. Yeah. Easy no enough. No pain, no, no must, no fuss. Easy enough. And then the, the then you get to these other points where it's just mm-hmm. like, when you walk forward and backward, that runs time mm-hmm. forward and backward in the whole level. Yes. So then there's all these weird complexities where it's just like, you know, you walk forward, but that means that an enemy is where you need to be, so you yeah. need to find another way of doing it. Exactly. And it's not like you can kill them. No. Because if you jump on them and kill them, and you go backwards. And you go backward. They're alive again. <laughs> and sometimes that's the trick. Yes. You yeah. know, it's, it's it's all based off that. And that that, that was a mind fuck. I'm like, holy shit. What do I yeah. do now? But then you go to the next level. Like, have you you've been to the next level, right? No. Where um, so the next level I've is um, you shadows. Yeah. So you go and do something, right? So I go and do something, and I go to and say pick up a key. Mm-hmm. At that point, if I hit the reverse button, I walk backwards, yeah. which is fine, right? And I go all the way back to the beginning. When you let go. Then your shadow guy goes and does exactly what you did what in between the time did. you started and finished yeah. and goes and picks up the key. Yeah. While at that period in time, you can go and run and do something else. So you're doing things in parallel as your shadow. and in time. Oh, my God. And, like, the puzzles involved with that are so complicated. Yeah. It's just, like, it's, it's amazing once you actually figure it out. And the cool thing about it is that a lot of times you run up against these puzzles and you're like, there's no fucking way I can get that puzzle. No. Piece. And it's one of those things where in a lot of other games you run into this kind of shit and then you go and look up a fact online and it's just yep. like, oh, Oh, there's an invisible block over here. You have to yeah. jump on this By shit. By the way, trial and error. And you're like, God, fuck. Like this, you know, I go, you go and you look, <laughs> but then, but these, yeah. once you figure it out, oh, it makes so sense. Good. It's never oh. unfair. It's never no. mean. It just involves you curling your brain yes. into knots. And not only that, like you look at what he, he has an official walkthrough. Yeah. So Jonathan Blow, yeah, 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 this is great. And, and like right in the beginning of it is like, by the way, don't look at this when you're playing this game. Don't Do look at it. Do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor because the thing is like I haven't and every single time I like I, I bust my brain on a puzzle, right? Yeah. And I'm like, uh, like 30 minutes, I'm like, oh fuck. And then I, I go forward and I come back to it I'm like, oh. Yeah. And then all of a sudden something clicks. Yeah. Oh, and then feeling. you just, and, and it oh. is, I mean, he's absolutely right. Like the feeling you get if you went and looked at a fact there's no reason to play the game. No. Because usually doing the solution isn't skillful. It's finding the solution. Yes. So it's like if, if you read or the thinking fact... thinking about it, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you read the fact, you're like, okay, do step one, two, three, yeah. you get the puzzle piece, and you're like, what? I didn't win anything. I didn't yeah. do anything. You got further in the game, but it's just like, uh. yeah. And like, the other thing I really like what he did was the kind of the theming and all that. The graphics are really like, you know, kind of cool. Very flowing animated. Yeah. You know, I like the style. The music is awesome. The music is unbelievable. Like my, yeah. I, was, I was playing and my wife was in the other room and she's just like, that is amazing. Isn't what is nice? that? And just kind of like these, you know, really just instrumental, it's very new simple. It's a little bit. Little but, bit. You know, but it's very relaxing. And the yeah. thing is, like, you know, we're not big on story in games. Mm-mm. But the way that they give the story both through the pictures and through the little books that you walk through, it's very, you don't have to go and fucking click through 20 different things mm-hmm. or watch a, 80 minute cutscene. You know, uh-uh. you don't have to do that. Uh-uh. You walk to a book and it shows some text. You walk to another. Episode, that's, just, that's it. Yeah. And like, I'm, I feel like I'm in the story. It's like, wow, I need to save this princess. Yeah. And you know? they're and they're really cool about letting you just like, if you're stuck in a puzzle, you walk to the next room. Yeah. You go. You're stuck in another puzzle. You walk to the next room. It's yeah. just like you can kind of go around. You're like, I'm gonna come back to this one. I'm gonna go to this one. I'm gonna go think about this one for exactly. a little bit. I mean, it's you're just, never stuck. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so um, I, mean, I don't even know how much more to say about this game. Yeah, we, I mean, so it's really good. Like, <laughs> you know, definitely go give the de- the demo a try. It's free. Yep. We highly recommend that you buy the game, and we highly, highly, highly recommend don't ever look up answers. No, please just don't. just keep fighting through it because every time you figure out shit, it just feels awesome. Yeah, and that's the whole point of the game. If you're basically going to do that, then don't buy the game because yeah. you're going to be really disappointed. Uh, and I also want to give a shout out to uh, Sunflower. He was able to get us a, or get me a copy anyways. You, nice. you bought it early, right? I bought it early, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, he's doing his PR stuff, so he's Very actually talking cool. with people. So I didn't pay the $15, but I totally would. And I kind of want to give him money, but I, I know. don't know how. Yeah, it's, I mean, seriously, like it's, <laughs> it's absolutely worth the money. Like a lot of people are kind of balking at the price, but yeah. We've said this before. They charge a fuckload for other games like, hmm, I don't know, Penny Arcade, Penny Arcade Adventures, twenty bucks, which was twenty bucks, and mm-hmm. like this is a better game than that. And not only that, the only other experience that I can think of with th- this gave me right the whole game experience in kind of a short package was Portal, and Portal was twenty bucks by standalone. You're right. 
right? You're right. It, it, like this is this is right up there, honest it's to God, with Portal. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be in my top ten, yep. definitely, definitely this year. So um, so poof. big 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 thumbs up. Huge. And Jonathan Blow is a triumph. Yes, absolutely. That guy's a hero. Seriously, doing that by himself, like thinking of those puzzles, you're a you're a goddamn. I just hero. hope he makes his money back. I hope it's not another fucking uh, you know. Uh, oh, any game that we like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not one of those because they gotta buy it. Yeah, man. buy it, please. Make this guy's yeah reward good games so we don't have more games like I don't know. Oh, Madden uh, NFL 09. <laughs> Speaking of new releases, Madden <laughs> NFL 09, uh, Rehash O Rama. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this. Basically, you get more stats. You we get have, updated stats. We have no right to is, talk about this. Is game. Favre in the Farv? Farv? <laughs> Favre. <laughs> Fab, this new Fab French, <laughs> new French guy. Is he on the? Jets? He moved to the Jets. I think he moved to the Jets. I know. Uh, the only reason I know that is like yeah. one of my coworkers was like weeping openly because he's from. He's <laughs> from. Green, uh, he's green, from uh, Green Bay. Yeah, I, I don't fucking he's know. from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. So yeah. it must be the Green Bay Packers. Packers. Right? Yeah. So God, we seriously should never talk oh, about never. sports. But yeah. Anyhow, um, it's it's Madden. It's yeah. going to be more of the same. Yeah. Enjoy. Uh, addition of the Golden Snitch, I thought was interesting. Yeah. Uh, the Dementors that kind of sucks. Dementors, like it's like when you play like the Raiders versus the Dementors, it's mm. kind of it's unfair, really. Yeah. That's like that's like the hard level. Yeah. They kiss you, suck your soul. Yeah. And then you have to playing in. without a soul. It's hard. <laughs> Whatever. So Space Siege. Space Siege. We um, so it. we already reviewed it. It's actually coming out this week on um, PC. Are you gonna actually I am try not. it out? No. Uh, you and I both reviewed it. We both gave it a thumbs down. Yeah. Um, I didn't like the feeling. We really like Dungeon Siege too. It was Yeah. You know, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But you know, I'm actually gonna be really excited for uh, so Chris Taylor is doing guest powered games, right? Did you see Demigod? I saw that, that the videos. Yes. Of it? Oh. Hawk, it's man. like it's like an RTS kind yeah. of, but it's, it's like it's. So my understanding is it's very similar to Dota. Do you know Demi God is what we're talking about? Yeah, Demi God yeah. is yeah, pff, yeah. Fuck Space Siege. Yeah. <laughs> so just uh, do you, you know Dota with uh, so Warcraft Three, um, Defense of the Ancients? Or no, something like that? no, no. So you know you ever heard about that? So it's a, it's, a, it's a mod on top of Warcraft Three where all you have is a hero. Huh. That's it, and then yeah. you're playing, you're fighting each other. But it's basically yeah. this super popular mod. There's like a a really popular. Uh, Swedish techno song about it. So what? We're playing Dota. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta play for it. I've been, I've been totally out of touch. There's all these like hot chicks all over the place playing. It's it's awesome. Uh, so anyhow, you had me at hot <laughs> chicks all over the place. Hot Swedish I don't, chicks. I don't care if they're talking about playing fucking Madden. Yeah, well they're. They <laughs> <laughs> I will watch it. They have headphones on. They're at PCs, and it's nice. it's hot. It's right. a good song. But anyhow, right. so um, so so I can't base it off that. So, yeah. but, but it's a, it's an RTS where basically I think you have kind of a, a main character, and yeah. you're kind of just supporting that. But the the, but the videos really for it, like I don't know if if they're saying that those videos that I've been seeing are gameplay, they should be. Then oh my fucking god! Like it's just like this epic. It like yeah. kind of looks like what I thought black 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 and white was gonna be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where it's just kind of like epic boss battles, but it, you know you're in control. And do, do you think it'll make you want to play it? Because it's an RTS. Right? I know. I I mean, from what I've seen, yes. Like, really? well, I mean, you know, I I I, I don't I know nothing about. It. I don't understand. Okay. Like, do you have like these big fucking ogres hoarding gold and cutting down forests and building? <laughs> like, oh, which tree should yeah, I research? And... So it's like, you know, like I'm sure that eventually maybe it's got some RTS stuff that I don't like. But yes, wait. So, but you like RPG? Maybe if it was more RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. okay, so we'll give that a try. So I'm more excited about that. Space Siege. Eh. Yeah, yeah. So um, next up is the Fable Pub Game. Yeah. So what is the deal with this? Is so, it coming out? now for 10 bucks right all three i think all three or if you pre-order somehow magically they detect that you've pre-ordered it and give you the free download like we don't we can't figure out how yeah. well, if i pre-ordered it from amazon i don't know i don't understand how i get these free games off of xbox live arcade I, you know i don't know because i mean I under, my understanding is that you would somehow get a code yeah because if you have a somehow. code it's a redeem code and i think if you get it from gamestop or something like that mm. for me i think i actually might pre-order it because I mean I, I want Fable 2 right so yeah that's true I, I mean, mean are you going to pre-order because just to get them a little just early, to get them I guess well, but what, what about the thing is is the pub games suck well they're, they're gambling all just games Vegas style gambling games no skill involved it's just like what was it it's like there's, roulette there's a craps and roulette hybrid yeah there's a press your luck hybrid yeah so what's press your luck is that is that like the no whammies no whammies no whammies <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I know, right? I don't, yeah, probably. But how know. does that work? I, I have no okay. idea. There's another, there's, a, there's another one like Blackjack or... Or, or something. Or, Wizards Jack or yeah. something. So it's um, all a bunch of skillless luck games. So you're going to go and you're going to dick around for several hours in a bunch of games that you can't get any better at. But you get gold then for you your get, game. You can go and buy the entire town. It's true. I mean, come on. That's, true. So would you do it for that? Play shitty casino games for... No. no I'll, just, you I'll just get money in the game. I'll get but money... You can't. 
You can't. Well, you can't kill monsters and get it. You have to actually do I'll jobs. Be a, I'll be a fucking landlord in the game. I'll just go and I'll whoop up on people and take their houses, and I'll be a slumlord in Fable, and I'll make rent. That's right. Like I will find other ways to make money. Because seriously, any game where I the only way in the world to make money is yeah. gambling is bullshit. I have no interest in that. Well, it's not because you can't yeah. do jobs in the game and do yeah. that. But I'd I mean, rather do like fucking uh, Shinmu two style, like <laughs> lifting boxes and shit. That's better. It is or better. Like, it is oh. better. I hate luck games. I hate them. Really? I hate them. There's nothing so, worse. So if it was like a skill-based game like, so I don't know, like... Geometry Wars. No, no, no. But I mean like... <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. I know. Like every GM you get is a gold piece. That would be... Do it. You would be the richest man in Fable. I would. You would seriously just... Um, it would be unstoppable. Yes, we'll talk about that later. But yeah. oh, I want to talk about the uh, new achievements. Yes. They are posted on Xbox 360 achievements.org. Yeah. We'll probably link to him off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... Oh, man. Dude, they fucking... Woo. It's hilarious, the achievements for Fable, yes. man. They're like... Some of them, I don't even understand. Like, is this an adults only game? Because they're I, like, participate in an orgy. I yes, shit it's you like not. The Swinger is the, the name of it. Yeah. Um, wait, participate in an orgy. And it says, and be responsible. And be responsible. Now, apparently, I'm you can get you... Fable Jimmy hats. Maybe. <laughs> or Fable diaphragms. I, yeah, I don't know. Well, no, that I, wouldn't do anything. I don't but... understand yeah. how you're responsible. You can, like, cast, like, a spell, like, sperm killer. <laughs> Woo! And they just, like, is you a sheath? Woo! Yes, it's called, uh, like, <laughs> Ramses! <laughs> 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 yes, I got another level in Ramses. Um, but I, I don't know. But but dude, you know, I, I know what you want. You're gonna get the first time you put the game in. What's that? The goth. And what do you have to do to get that? You have to wear all black, and you have to wear like black makeup and something like dye your hair dye black. Dye your hair black. Yeah. yeah. So I, I'll totally get that. And then yes. there's like the seduce a goth chick one. Yeah, I that wish. only exists in here. Yeah. Is, uh, there, is there is there a, is there an emo? Emo achievement? I know. Moo. Yeah, that guy have that fucking stupid hair in front of your eyes um, that makes me want to shave your goddamn little emo heads. <laughs> uh, but no, there's a, wait. What else? There was, there was a, a bunch of ones. achievements. There was like, uh, there get, was like get, a... get, get like five people to dance with you. Yeah. Was, like I mean, the, the achievements look really fun. Like they look yeah. like really cool. Like you, you're. There's a lot of game you know, like related to the plot, yeah, but yeah. then there's ones that it looks like you're just gonna enjoy being in the world. I think there's one that like have a kid. Yeah. But it seems like like there weren't really that many to do with the plot. There were some quest based ones, but like you look, there's a lot of achievements. There's a true. whole mess of them. Yeah. I'm like, you know, most of the time what they do is they say, okay, I'm gonna make ten 100 point achievements for every chapter. Like those are King lazy. Kong, those are lazy for fuckers. Example, right? Yeah. Um, but King Kong's awesome. <laughs> Love that game! <laughs> Whatever. I don't care what any of you say. <laughs> but um, no, but they do that, but then like this one, they're like, okay, how do you play the game differently? How do you actually go and do something else interesting? It's yeah. like, that's the way you make achievements. I like that there's an achievement for be 100% evil. And be 100% good. That's I don't what care I'm about do. that. <laughs> <laughs> I will fuck you up. I'll come into your world no! as my evil I will not play co-op I, with I just you want to meet your wife. No. I just want to you you say hello. No, with your sword. <laughs> Uh, so we're so excited about yeah. Fable. I could give a fuck about the pub game. It sounds like you're more excited than me. You're gonna well, the thing is, the I'm going to pre-order. Like, I want the game, so might as well pre-order if I can get this. If I can get this and actually do a little bit. Maybe it's co-op. Maybe you can play against each other. Would that be? No, I, I doubt it, but who knows. Yeah, that'd be weird. Um, um, and last, last step is Bionic Commando Rearm. So we already talked about this from the uh, Comic-Con thing. Yeah. It's basically, it's not co- Bionic Commando, period. Right. Right. That's the whole 3D, brand new, yeah, uh, yeah, amazing yeah. thing. This is the original Bionic Commando, but reskinned, and then you have co-op. Right, and you did not like it at all. It's the mechanics are so Annoying, old like school, old, man. Yeah. So uh, you yeah. should try the trial. I will definitely try the trial because I, I love Bionic Commando, something fierce as a kid. I did too, but dude, like my, my memories and like reality, yeah. change. Oh, it's just like Kid Icarus. No, just... no, Kid Icarus. I knew as a fucking kid. I'm like, I wasted my money oh, on this okay. fucking game. Okay, I, I love that game as a kid. Really? And I, yeah, I, I hate it now. So many oh. games like that. I bet, I bet so many games that I used to love. If I played that, like Boyness Blob. I bet you anything Ooh. if I played that now, I'd want to kill myself. Really? Yeah. Toe Jam and Roll, maybe? Yeah, I bet I'd hate that too. I know, I know one game that uh, that definitely holds its own, though. What's that? Kickle. Kickle, motherfucking cubicle. That's right. What? We'll um, be playing that a little later. So anyway, site news. Yes! Uh, we're going to start out with, we have another one, man. Every single week, Ass Juice through the Theater, the Bugaba gets better. It's awesome. So oh. here we go. Ass Juice Theater with Jackie Chan's Stuntmaster. Hello and welcome to Ash Juice Theater. Today we review Jackie Chan's Stuntmaster. In Stuntmaster, Jackie is tasked with delivering a special package. When the package is stolen and his uncle is kidnapped, Jackie springs into action. This is the only game that I've ever pre-ordered. As a lifelong fan of Jackie Chan, I thought it was a sure thing. I remember the day fondly. 
Yeah, I pre-ordered Jackie Chan's Stuntmaster. Ha <laughs> so you're the one. Okay, maybe not so fondly. Stuntmaster plays like a 3D single-player version of Double Dragon. The format is set up like a film instead of an actual story. Instead of lives, for example, you have takes. If Jackie Chan gets too beat up, he won't want to do any more takes. For this reason, Jackie says things like, Somebody call an ambulance! when he dies. Once you've played the first level, you've pretty much played the whole game. The number of moves that you can do is very limited, the battles are amazingly repetitive, and there is no growth and no achievement in this game. The graphics aren't bad, especially for a PS1, but they're not great either. For a long time, I tried to convince myself that this is a good game. I tried to convince my friends, but deep down, I knew what they knew. This game is just bad. Sadly, I give this game a thumbs down. Yeah! That's so awesome. Man, this is one of the first times that like I really wanted to disagree with him. Like yeah. I've never played that game, but from watching all of his footage, yeah. I wanted to try it. Like it it looked like a fun game, well, I thought. Like Lance, like like all the swinging stunts, all the PS1 fighting. One game, it yeah. actually looks really good. So, but he's going to send it in as part of his ass juice. So. I know. To, oh, can well, I play well, it on my PS2? You can play PS1 PS, games. But can you play your PS1 game on your PS3? I don't even I don't even know if I I still have my PS2 plugged oh, so in. My PS2 is like somewhere boxed up. Yeah, so. so I still got mine. So I'll try um, I'll try out fucking I'll try out Jackie Chan and then I'll report back and see yeah. if see if I agree with the bug bug. <laughs> yeah, well it's amazing. Like he actually had every single like uh, Jackie Chan. I know. On there, I man. love the little oh. fucking uh, security footage of him <laughs> of him talking about pre-ordering the game. Good job, man. Good we job. love we love those it's videos. Getting better and better. Um oh, shoop. Shoop a doo. Shoop doo number 36. Who is the winner of number 35? Rain. Rain. What? With why so serious? Like yeah. this was actually really well done like i mean I granted i love the dark knight that movie yeah. was fantastic but him doing me as the joker like i didn't all realize all that i actually like, kind of look like the joker a little bit you put like white makeup on i know all of a like, sudden i look all fucking scary you know, you and cut your mouth i know <laughs> <laughs> but man um, so that was that was very cool thank you very much for doing that rain yeah, and, um, and this i mean they're, they're getting a lot more these days like yeah. we're getting a lot more uh, individual photos and so i think good. that i think that Celia is taking back over this week. I thought uh, I saw this something. Upcoming week, yeah. This next coming week, she said that she was she was back. She's back got a in little effect. bit more time. Yeah, she's gonna do that. So uh, thank you very much. Yeah, Mail so for holding the fort. Absolutely, and and you know, like I I saw a couple from this upcoming week that I'll be playing while we're talking. Yeah. that were just. It looks like they're going kind of back to the uh, homoerotic. Uh, yeah, again. you know that's a, that's an easy crutch. You know, there's a couple of good ones. The Clone Bones. I admit, there's they've got a little bit to them, but you know, some of them are just like. Eh. Yeah, it's, it's really true. the the clever ones that that take something that we had said during one of the things. Like yeah. remember when you hacked Africa? Yes, and you were like in home, and there was <laughs> speaking like that of, kind of shit. You know, last week I demanded a shoop of something, and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was a uh, sweater puppies. Yes, and dogs edition. <laughs> yes. So I haven't checked. I haven't checked this yes. week, but I'm really hoping somebody gives me sweater puppies because I demanded it. Yeah. Well, I don't think they know what sweater puppies are. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's one of those things, man. You should Google it. It's probably like it's probably not a thing at all. It's like me and my friends in Maryland made it up, and probably. nobody knows what the fuck it is. Um, um, they're boobs, by the way. Yes. <laughs> Not moobs. No, boobs. Uh, member of the week, number 13. Thank you very much, Ash Gunner, for setting this up every week. Absolutely. Um, who's the winner of last week? Speeding Turtle. Oh, yeah. He did a bunch of, uh, bunch of things. He did a Crackdown review, yeah. um, how to make video uh, reviews. Very cool. He's been like, like he, he's only like a couple of weeks old. Yeah. He just came in, made an effort, and then he's recognized. See, that's very cool. So, like, somebody, he obviously was just watching it. He probably watched the show for a while, and yeah. was just like, all right, I'll join the forum. Fine. And he just came in and just f fucking blew people away. Amazing. And he got so, a bunch of newbies for it, so. So um, that's the way you do it. Very, very cool. Uh, so here's some big news. Oh, wait. Should we start? So, all right. Here you go. We are the <laughs> 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 who's, the, who's the champion? Who's the champion? We are. I am the champion. That's right. Not, not, not me. <laughs> I am the champion. So the, um, the high, Germany Wars 2 high score challenge is complete. Yes. And I am the winner. That With is 15 million. Man. So that was – was this uh, – was this for just one mode? Was this just the, it's just uh, for the deadline? Mode. The deadline, so, yeah, mode. it would have been too hard to like say whoever yeah, got the right. That's sure. just too confusing. So, so, but we had all of NoobTube compete on oh, deadline. Yeah, there's a lot. And I kept talking to you online on AIM, and you're just yeah. like, "Hey, uh, hey, dude, what's going on?" You're like, uh, "You're like, oh, nothing. <laughs> Somebody just beat my score in deadline. Gotta go. Bye." <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, holy shit. Because the thing is, I was at 13.6 for the longest time, and I was actually at the top. Nobody was beating me. I'm yeah. like, whatever. And then after our episode got posted, like, yeah. I, I said, hey, anybody who has Jump 2 Wars 2, I'll add to my friends list, right? I and people just flooded list. you, right? Flooded me, right? And they added one guy named Ralagu or something like that. Yeah. So that was with a Ral. And, like, he had 14 million. Mm. And I'm like, fuck that shit. Mm -hmm. And then last night, I spent an hour and a half. 
hour and a half to get my 15 million score. And the thing nice. is, I figured it out. I figured out oh, you got like a, what the secret is now. Nice. To what get, is it? So the secret to get big scores on that is yeah. to use the gates and the black holes. Really? So basically, when you you, you go around, if you like build this big following around, yeah. you build guys around you, you actually don't kill them. Don't, don't waste your time killing them. You go and you circle around and hit them with a gate, yeah. you get five times the score. So I was at like nine million. I had no idea. I know. Neither did I. And it's just like I was like, holy shit! Like I, you know, I was talking to people. Veritas actually mentioned that. I was yeah. Like, really? So then I started trying it, and then basically, like towards the end of the thing, I had like nine million. And it just and I had this boom, big ass fucking thing, and I went in and I got like a like six million. Wow. Yeah. So you heard it here first. That is the so now shit. you'd be able to beat me with that yeah. secret, but but. The, the contest is over. That is so cool. So, I mean, like, yes. but so the reason this is a big deal is because usually we open up contests and we're like, hey, guys, oh. we can take you out. And, like, the noob tube army just comes <laughs> in and just fucking gang rapes yeah. us. They're just like, blah. When's the last like, time we won a, a game, a, a, I don't even a know. gamer challenge? I don't even know. <laughs> it's been a while. So, this is, like, a big deal because, like, Yuzo, th- this is your thing. Like, Geometry Wars is, like, your castle. Yeah, no one will touch me. In the, well, a few people did eventually, yeah. right? But, yeah. I mean, when, when it's, like, a two-week time limit. Yeah. Fuck that. So that's that's very cool. And and like what fun, right? Like yeah. what what huge fun? Because you know that I'm not a contest. No. Nah. But now that we've got this noob tube community, you just go out there and like people just come in and hoard you. Like I'll take all comers. Yes. What? I was like, whatever. What? What? <laughs> it's just like you get to feel awesome. Yeah, like, I know. Like, like every day, every day I would go in, I get all these like messages and like, oh, by the way, I just beat your score. Yeah. And then I was like, no, you didn't. And Trash like, talking back and forth, and just like this is why you play score video games. Absolutely. Like, awesome. Urgh. Uh, uh, by the way, speaking of uh, your own accomplishments, yes. Um, <laughs> so I am still chugging through Bioshock, and I'm loving it more every day. Like yes. this is such a good game, which you know everybody knew but me. Um, are you seeing now why people are so excited about? Oh you my god! It? Oh my god! There's moments in it where I'm just like holding the control. I'm like, no! I'm get all pissed <laughs> off. Like, like I love a game like that where I get so involved in it that yeah. I actually care what's happening. I know in the. St- Story and like you're not a story gamer, neither am I. But this one just like just sold me. I think I'm a story gamer when it's good story, and and it's so <laughs> rarely good have, story. Because here's the thing: a good story is a game that you're playing, and there's yeah. a story. It's yeah. not watching a fucking movie because that's not involved. Like yes. I want to be in the game, like they do with uh, Half Life, where yeah. all the plot things are like part Absolutely. of what's happening. And around that's exactly you. what they do here because they actually do all the story through diff- different audio cues, yeah. through um, moments where you're kind of stuck, you can't really, but you can still move around. Yeah, you're, like you're trapped, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, so, like we've said before, I'm beating Bioshock. Yep. We're gathering this huge list on the forums of all the things people have promised. There's oh, seriously man. like five people going to shave their heads, people destroying old cell phones, fucking intercooling, intercoolers, they're burning them and shit. So people are getting all this stuff. We're going to call all of you out, by yes. the way. Anybody who doesn't is a pussy. Yes. So come to the forums, claim what you're going to do uh, when I beat Bioshock, and we will call you a bitch forever if you don't do it. That's right. Um, so just real quick, I like want to talk about just Bioshock, where you're at right yeah. now. So spoilers, if you haven't finished Bioshock yet, skip a minute. Yeah, so right? you cannot complain. Like, don't complain. We are, we'll give you spoiler warning. Spoiler alert right now. Skip One forward. So you hit the twist. I hit the twist. <laughs> would you kindly? Would you kindly? Dude, like... Did you realize, like, when we were talking about please finish Bioshock, I, like a couple of times I said, "Would you kindly finish Bioshock?" <laughs> now I got to go back and, and every, watch that. And everybody, people were comment like in the comments saying, "Would you kindly?" And people were that's <laughs> awesome. I didn't even seriously did not realize you were doing that. Yes. That is so cool. Well, of so, course not, right? I mean, like, yeah. no context. Yeah, it's just yeah. like, oh, that's badass. So, uh, so it turns out. So, what's really <laughs> funny is to give a really literary background on this yeah. is like, I was actually kind of upset at the story in this because I really like objectivism, all the stuff that Anne Rand wrote and yeah. having this Andrew Ryan guy be a bad guy yeah. was kind of like, I like Atlas Shrugged, all the book, this is way too literary for Noob yeah, too, yeah. but but anyway, <laughs> I was mad. I was not enjoying it and then it turns out that he's not the bad guy and I was like vindicated. I'm like, fuck yeah, yeah objectivism, what? <laughs> so, <laughs> they got, yeah, it's like they got fucked up from some fucking like, you know, yeah, some capitalist, thief. some, you know, some, some fucking, some fucking sorry. weaselly thief coming in and it turns out he's controlling you and all this stuff exactly. so exactly god what a great plot oh, like so i'm i'm just digging it like i might beat it tonight we'll we'll see you're, you're, like, you're close. I'm, you're close. I'm getting you real close twist, and like tonight close. i'm really gonna just dig in and just Are try you and get power most through of the uh, achievements i'm getting a lot you guys can go online and check tobin zero zero is my xbox handle right. and if you look i've been uh powering up all my weapons mm-hmm. i've been like getting all these research i've been well? researching the but baje- the only thing i have left that i haven't researched is the rosie Cause, uh, because they're only tough. on the last yeah, level. Yeah, and you kind of have to go around. Yeah, yeah. that one's annoying. But I'm loving yeah. it. You can watch my achievements. I'm going to get a shitload. I'm about to beat this shit. Yeah. So cut your hair and send us videos because <laughs> it's going to happen. That's right. So we're actually going to start doing it probably next week. We're going to say, like, here's the people that have done it so far. You guys yep. are all heroes, whoever's sent in videos so far. Yes. And a few people have, so. Yeah, so just start it up. Let's do this shit. Um, yes. Um, oh. Packs. Uh, so voicemails start out with? Yeah, we'll start out with uh, the one voicemail we've got from Laszlo about packs. Hmm. Hey guys! 
is Laurel. It's me, Laszlo. Wanting to ask a question. I was wondering, this question has been going on to the forums a lot. And I want to ask you, Tobin, and you, Yuzo, what are you guys looking forward to the most at PAX? Who are you looking forward to see? What games are you looking forward to play? And all that other shit. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll see you guys at PAX. Yeah! <laughs> wow. Yeah, do you, you crazy see him motherfucker? <laughs> I, 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 am, oh, I am very <laughs> interested to meet Laszlo in person. This you will be. He posted his picture. So we have a thread on the forums right now where basically we're asking everybody to post saying they have the three day pass. Yeah, yeah, post your pass. Pictures. And he posted. So he's so definitely he's coming. He's definitely coming. He can't bitch out. Oh, man. But we don't know what Laszlo looks like. Like, we no. thought that maybe he'd post a picture of himself with his badge. Oh, just, just his, his hand. Just his hand. I'm like, oh, I don't know what you look like. So I uh, bet he'll show up with like a big t shirt that says like Laszlo Lulz. 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 Exclamation point, exclamation point. I am so excited to meet basically all the noob tubers. Yeah, like, that's, I, it's that's hard to call one. out. Like, I know that Sunflower's coming. I know that yeah. Locke is coming. Jam is fucking coming. All the way from England. There's a few Eng- English people actually coming, yeah. which is like amazing. I am so pumped to meet oh, all you geez. guys. Like yeah. this is gonna be, it's gonna be the shit. And uh, you know, like in terms of like just want, the, the big things that we're looking forward to. Oh God, what was playing good? Kickle? Playing Kickle all probably night. Friday night. Um, Friday night. So we got a couple people. We're trying to get somebody or maybe multiple people to yes. show up with Nintendos. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go and you've already put an order in for the eBay. That's for right. Kickle for the actual Nest. That's Nest right. So we're at, we here at NoobTube. We're gonna buy a copy of Kickle. We're gonna show up with Kickle motherfucking cubicle what and bling bling. And someone's gonna show up with a Ness, or we will. I swear to God, we will cut you. Yes, somebody. But uh, do it. Someone's gonna show up with <laughs> Nintendo, and we're gonna play Kickle on Friday night. We're yes. gonna beat it, beginning to end. We're gonna beat yeah. it. Every noob tuber is gonna get a chance to play. That's right. So we'll probably start a little earlier, nine or ten or something like that, just yeah. because we play. Um, so we'll do that. Probably Saturday night. We're thinking about doing some drinking at GameWorks. Thinking, so you're twenty one. Thinking nothing. <laughs> twenty one and over. Yeah. Um, so a lot of free drinks are being bandied about. Apparently. Right. So, so we're gonna um, show up at GameWorks a little bit early, so all of you underage guys can hang out, play some games. Till about ten. Till about ten. That's when they toss you youngsters out Who on the street. Who does not have a fake ID? Yeah. That's that's right. So get your fake IDs and bring them to PAX. Um, and then after that, we're all going to get shitty. Yeah. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, those are the big things. I mean, as far as, like, other big games and all that, like, I know you want to play Mirror's Edge. I definitely want to play Mirror's Edge. Um, and I'm really hoping they show up with at least some more gameplay footage of the games I'm really pumped about, like Beyond Good and Evil 2, ooh, uh, Final Fantasy know. 13. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> they weren't at Comic Con, so I'm not sure if you're right. It's like, I know. Uh, we'll I see. Know. Fable we'll 2 see. will probably be Fable there. Fable 2 will probably be there. Um, yeah, a lot of the games. Um, the thing is, I'm excited about too is just like oh, there's actually some really good panels. Yeah. Right. I mean, there's uh, some good podcasting panels. There's some good like how to break into the game industry panels, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Not excited about the smelly people. No, that's that's never good. I mean, like we keep saying that in the free gift pack they should give out deodorant, and they, they never, never take our advice. <sighs> they never do. We should show up with cans and spray people. Yeah, it's just it's just like this would be arm. against <laughs> against their will. Like people are like, hey, what's up, buddy? Psh. All right, now we can talk. <laughs> Here's some breath mints, too. Yes. Um, oh, so a couple of logistical stuff. So yeah. um, we do have new shirts. Go check, check out at NoobTube.com. Yes. We're under the merch, and there's also a side panel right for down the, the side. store. Uh, yeah, so so buy a shirt and wear it. We're not taking any profit. Just buy a shirt and wear it to PAX so we know who all the NoobTube members are. Yes. And um, the other thing is uh, Kickle Bling, if you got it. It's always good. Of course. And uh, Twitter. So yes. we're asking everybody to, uh, what we're going to do sign while we're Twitter. there, sign up for Twitter. It's free. And uh, give us what your handle is, and we'll all follow each other. And basically, while we're there, we'll be Twittering like, hey, we're going over to GameWorks now. So it's, right. it's the easiest way, because we can't call people all over the place. It's going to be very difficult. Now, like, so. we've tried to give out cell phone numbers before, and it's just impossible to do. So the cool thing with Twitter is that you guys can just send messages like, hey, we're all going to dinner at fucking Denny's. Yes. And then anybody that wants to from the new tube Army can come in. So there's yeah. a forum post. Um, just go sign up for Twitter. It's free. Yep. Go onto the forums. Put your Twitter handle. We'll all follow each other it'll be good to go yeah and the best thing about it too is like for like maybe for important ones like we're going to make you know special announcements mm-hmm. uh, you can actually sign up on Twitter and have those ones SMS to you that's right so right it'll be like a push thing it'll be awesome uh, yep. last thing is a Nintendo we already talked about that yep. so that's it so uh, each week we feature audio and video moist mails on the show if you have a burning question request or funny story please give us a ring yes you can contact us toll free at 888-233-8480 send your audio or video video <laughs> video files to feedback at noobtube.com also send us video responses on YouTube yes um <laughs> video question man it's already working it's 40 <laughs> ounces man it's a big um, it's an Asian 40 Asian 40 it's a faux 40 <laughs> Video questions are preferred, but please, please leave your questions under 60 seconds if you want to make the show. Don't forget the yow. Yow. Uh, first up is unknown. They didn't give mm. us a name. 
Hello, NoobTube. Thanks for ruining my childhood. Nice one. Nah, give some credit to schools as well. <laughs> right, I was just wondering what you thought was the most metal soundtrack to a game ever. I haven't really seen anything that I could really call metal. But I was just wondering if you have and what it was. Okay. Yow! Awesome song. Yeah, it's good on rock band. Off? I like that. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. One. Do you flip us off? I he did. He gave us a little. Uh, no, no, not this. That. Like this. Not about that. You got to do this. Yeah. Um, this. Metal. Metal soundtrack. metal soundtrack. Metal soundtrack. Um, Brutal legend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is Jack Black considered metal though? I don't know. Um, he did School of Rock. Yeah, not How's School of not metal? metal. Yeah. It's very unmetal. So um, you got anything? I can, uh, I'm trying to think. The only thing I can think of, I think it's kind of close, is if you look at the Castlevania Symphony of the Night soundtrack, there are some rocking songs, That's good right? There's, yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. there's a lot of guitar-heavy stuff, yeah. which you don't find very often. That's good stuff. Um, um, and it's they, really good. They had they had in uh, the new that new Final Fantasy game, there was actually some pretty rocking shit on oh, the PSP. Oh, which one? On uh, um, Crisis Core. Really? I yeah. don't remember the rock, yeah, rocking there was, part. There was like a couple of things when like, Sephiroth was like, hey, look, a spaceship. Look, my fucking sword. Wonk. The fucking you know like you remember the, some of those videos yeah, yeah, where, like yeah, yeah. the world fell apart and Seth Ross <laughs> is like Shh, and it's like da, 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 da. nice yeah it was like do you want to suck my cock bells <laughs> would you like to make some fuck bells did you just say making fuck <laughs> making fuck yeah um <laughs> I know what will be metal but not really what's up uh Metall guitar hero Metallica it ha it's technically metal. It's true. It's technically, but I the thing actually is, dig, I dig the show at Metallica. I do too, I but the thing is, it's such a sellout move. It is that it's it's no longer metal. Yeah, you're it right up there metal. with Aerosmith. Nice job, guys. Wow, you're <laughs> as metal as Aerosmith. Awesome. Woo. But seriously, I would like to rock out some old Metallica because that's fucking sweet. Play Guitar Hero. I'd rather do it all it's on about Rock Band. Like they, yeah, oh, they, yeah, they've, yeah. they've got Metallica on Rock Band, so fuck Guitar Hero. That's right. Uh, last up is Pizza. Man. Yeah, we got time. So we got Pizza Man one seventy four. Hey, NewTube, this is PizzaMan174 from the forums, and I have a funny story. I couldn't afford Psychonauts because I'm lazy and I don't have a job, And but the second I heard you said that it was free on GameTap, I signed up for that shit, and I downloaded it ASAP. And what's funny is I got up at like 8 in the morning, walked out in my living room, and my mom is sitting on the computer playing it. And that's bizarre because she despises games. That's my funny story. Yow. Wow. That's how fucking good Psychonauts is, people. It will make your mom play. <laughs> <laughs> Played your mom. <laughs> uh, but yes, wow. so Psychonauts is free. It's yes. fucking free. You have no excuses. Go on to game GameTap.com, yeah. I think it is. It's um, free! That one, and I think Tomb Raider, there's a couple of... Actually, there's a bunch. There's a bunch yeah. of free games that you can play, so go check it out. If you don't make any money, we should. No. Nah. We have said so many times that Psychonauts, everyone in the whole world should play it. And the yeah. fact that people's moms, they don't even play games. I know. Because it's so clever. It's just like you're walking, you're exploring the insides of people's heads. Yeah. And like everyone's head is different. There's it's like, like very, paranoid conspiracies. I mean, I can't, I can't believe a mom is playing because it's very platforming. It's actually kind of hard. You it know is. what I mean? It's, it's like tough. it's one of the harder games. Like, I think people should uh, hopefully play Braid. That's, yeah. I mean, take anything from this episode. Play fucking Braid. Play Braid. Um, all right, that's it for the week. That's it. Check out our website at noobtube.com and participate in our forums by clicking on the forum links at the top of the page. If you're on YouTube, there's a link over there. Word. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you will notice that we're drunk from 40s. Whoa. There's a subscription button right over here. Also, read this button with five stars right here on my 40 balls. That's all for this episode. I'm Tobin Kozire. <laughs> I'm using Watanabe. Audio engineering is by done by Free Range Organic Strunk. Nice. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, for listening. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Yeah. We're out! <laughs>